So hey everybody, we're just pulled off next to the airport in Zephyr Hills and uh, we got Mikey Craft here and mm. Daddy Craft, Mommy Craft, Uncle Doug Craft and Siley Craft. So uh, take it away Michael, show them what we're doing today. We're going to be following this trail and see what we're going to buy. Fine, I'm not really going to like this so I'm going to talk like this voice the whole entire day. Here's some cheese stumps. Only the black. Only the black ones. Mm. There's some blackberries. Oh, you can touch the green oh, yeah. ones. What are you, what are you um, looking for? Blackberries. Do we eat See, here's, Yeah, you eat the blackberries. Uh, There's one. no good ones here Show right now. Show it on now. the camera, Michael. We are... We, there's are, some Zeppi Hill <laughs> good yes. stuff. But there's, there's black there's a lot of oh, here. Man. There's something you want to see. Oh, yeah. We'll have some dry seeds Michael. and stuff that sit with that seeds in there. There's a good one right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got trapped. Yeah, yummy good blackberries. All right, thank you. Well, when, hey. my, when my book comes out, if there's going to be a, a picture on the back of me and, and Michael Hawk, the picture that they're going to use of me has my has this hat. Yeah. So you got the eye of the tiger. Got, so you got a picture of me with this hat. So when you show them the book and you say, who is this? It's called a book bag. Let's get, uh, yeah, it's good. Never mind. my book bag. That's why I go hiking in my book bag. First day for a survival kit. Wait, you gotta hold it really, really well. Like this. Put your hand aside. Okay. Now we're gonna be to continue the venture. I did find blueberries, but I don't know if they're going to be out this time of year. I found raspberries. Oh, there's lots of raspberries. You want this blackberry? I'll let you. I'll let you pick it. Dang it. Do you want to put it back in there or do you want to keep it? Okay. Okay. You I found a blackberry. Okay, put it in my backpack. Eat it. Put it. What? Eat it. Three. Three. I'm gonna eat a blackberry. Oh, Two. Yeah, this year has been a really one. good year for blackberries, as, as you found out. <laughs> yeah, I, I did a second sip there. Oh, for Chancy Road, there's a, there's a bunch of them there. But the thing about blackberries is they don't produce every year. They produce every two to three years. Oh, whoa. There's another. I think that was real good. They grow real close to the ground. They just see some a seashell. 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 There must be a lake there. There must be. There must used to be a lake here. Cause look, you shall sand. But the dewberries, they crawl along the ground. Okay. So they, look, they, look, they look exactly the same. Do they, they taste like the same? They taste the same. Everything the same, except the dewberries grow every year. Okay. And the blackberries only produce. Now blackberries were used by the Indians for looking for it, or for diarrhea and stuff. That's so visible, huh? They made a uh, infusion with the roof. Maybe infusion with the roof. So I didn't have a fit. It's super bad. I don't want to do it. You're doing so great. You're doing so great. I'm going to fill this. Three, two, one. <laughs> so I still have a fit again. That's what the thorn did to me, by the way. No, it's like... Just thorn in this place, pal, though. That's my gum. I don't want it. Daddy's up ahead. Taking a shortcut. It works. Just hear the glass. Don't you just hear the glass? Doesn't it like sound read or something? 
what I do is I take a leaf and rub it on my skin and the mosquitoes will not bite me. Let's uh, photograph that. Why? Just give me a second. And uh, in a few months they'll grow berries. You the camera? Yeah, demonstrate it. They'll Here. grow pink. Watch me. Pink berries. Watch me, okay, with the camera, Michael. The pink berries I'll do you. grow our edible. I'll do you. Rub it all over your skin. The yep. pink berries don't taste very good though. Mm -hmm. okay. What? But the leaves are good insecticide. The mosquitoes won't bite you now. And I rub it even on my face. And it's very safe. There's no chemicals in here. It's very safe. It doesn't itch or nothing. What's it called again? Beauty berry. Beauty berry. The, the Latin name is Calicarpa americana. Yeah. But Michael, do we just rub all leaves on our skin? What? Do we just run around and rub leaves on our skin? No. <laughs> only, only from an expert. Only from this. Only from an expert. Yeah, He's I an can, expert. I can tell you, this will keep the bugs from. So. I even put them under my hat. So we uh, so in case I start sweating and I need to rub some more. We we listen to the to the expert. Okay. You're learning, thank you. So, I'm back here. This is crabgrass. They actually use crabgrass for seeds, those little tiny seeds. Mm -hmm. um, hey. in, in Asia, they make a grain out, out of the seeds of crabgrass. Oh, that was hot for me. By the way, there's snakes here. Why is there? It was zoomed in. Yeah, that's a different that's weird. I'm still building. Because it has a thousand thorns on it. Those thorns will cut you. They're not. They're not delicate thorns here. They're so making you. bread out of this. It's called a thistle. Yeah, in uh, in Asia, for for famine food. For a famine. Right, right. So we're still burning bread. But they have crops in it. Wow. They wow. eat this? Well, there's cer certain parts you can eat. The I roots, mean, you can are, eat the roots, there, but it's, it's a hassle to clean it. But what you can do is uh, skin all the thorns and take this, all the skin off, and you can eat the stalk by cooking it. You cook the inside part of this thing after you take a knife and you cut it off. Careful. It's, <laughs> you see? <laughs> I almost got hit in the head with that porn they bite pine back. thing. There's a big tall thistle. See how tall this thing is? The flowers are purple. And there's a way to, uh, not sure how they do it, but they used to eat the flowers too, the seeds. What they used to do is cut one of these leaves off. No, don't kick it. And then they take a knife and they take all those spines off until they got down to the very, very center, the very uh, core of it. And then they'd eat that part. <laughs> I still kicked it though. <laughs> yeah. well, as long as it don't kick you back. At least I'm a ninja. Yeah. Mommy and Daddy are way up in the head even Silas. I don't know why I did it. It might be jiggly. I don't know why. Because I'm running. Let's stand for a picture. No thank you. Right here. See right here? No thank you. Okay, Silas, Michael, Mommy, stay right here for fishing. Right here. Remember to be good? <laughs> this looks kind of long. Okay. So, you see this? You see this, you two? It's like some kind of moss. It's like some kind of moss. Yeah, snap away right now, too. Do this, snap. These are good snaps. Daddy, it's like some kind of moss. Yeah. There's a lot of shading and stuff. Don't worry about that, it's just a dark screen to say battery. Okay, here we go, one, two, three. It'll come out with beautiful light. Okay. Mommy, it's like some weird moss. Yeah, it does, you're right. Check it out. Right. I just love watching TikTok. I'm wearing dragon shirts this year. I'm watching. I like TikTok. I'm gonna talk about some questions. In eight pack, is it for real that that Fortnite just came out? I'm talking about Fortnite. Is it for real the f default skin just ate the banana and the default skin? You better see the movie on. The Fort Fortnite season nine. Season nine just came out. You better go play Fortnite. 
That's awesome, amazing. All new skins, all new files, all new everything. All new maps. Film me, buddy. Show, show everyone your daddy crap. Tell them all about your daddy. Fill me up. I was talking about Fortnite. I know, but tell them to talk about daddy. Tell us all about what we're doing on the hike. If you're not filming the hike, then we're going to have to... But I know the difference between blueberries and these are the these are not blueberries, although they kind of look similar. Blueberries kind of grow like that, but they're not blueberries. They're poisonous. These berries are poisonous. You don't want to eat these. Well, wow, they're, they're the just, leaves do look oval like a blueberry. Yeah, leaves. like a blueberry, but these aren't blueberries. They might they might make they don't taste very good for one thing. Anyway, do they ever but, turn blue? No, they they, okay. turn, they turn black. Wow. So oh. you won't mistake them for. Well, for blueberries. Hope not. If you're looking for blueberries, make sure they're what blue. Are you and make sure they have a crown on the end. I'll we'll show you what a crown yes. is on a Don't blueberry. Don't run with it, okay? Don't run with it. Yeah, you walk very carefully on the bed. Can you two see it? You feel me, okay? Huh? So this is a Bear Grylls knife, just for cutting some branches or something like that. But let's try to practice good knife safety by keeping it locked up. Okay. Have the camera back. You want to try? He's the spirited one. We yeah, just, we understand. We accept him like that, and he can he can vocalize very good. He's very good at vocalizing. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you have a sheath for it? Oh, like, okay. Yeah, we like were. This? Yeah, but here we're done. We're done with that. Good. Yeah. Wow. That's a bear grills knife. Yeah, I got one too, but mine is a called carbon steel. Yours is stainless steel. This is carbon steel. Oh yeah, cool. Ooh, this cool. kind of you can get a cl a better edge on these. Okay. And they and it rusts, so I keep it oiled. Yeah. But this won't chip. Those stainless steel ones will chip. These uh this Leatherman Micra has really really great shearing power for such a small package. I really recommend that that one as well. Keeping Daddy. it on the lanyard, something like that. Daddy. Uh -huh. but what is this plant? Passion flower. They uh, has a fruit that'll grow on these after a while, after a while that you can eat the seeds of the fruit. Daddy. And these are uh, they use these they use these flowers and these Why leaves. Did you put they use them to make. Why a, did you put this? A sedative. Yeah. Okay. So the relaxant type thing. Yeah. Kind of like nice shade. Is that called? What did you say it was? No. Passion flower. Passion flower. Daddy. Passion flower. Daddy. Yeah, Michael. It's also yeah. Why, related to passion why did you fruit. Put... What? Why did you put that? Oh, I need to. I need oh, to keep wow. it in here. Why? I, you did a real nice job cutting the plant with it, but there's no need to have it out. I've been looking to get a picture of this for a long yeah. time. This is called a paw paw. It's it's too young right now, but it'll get bigger and it'll turn into a kind of a pear. And they call it a paw paw. P a w p a w. It's in that bare necessity song when you pick the prickly pear with your paw 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 or something like that. Yeah, well, I know a prickly pear is a cactus. Yep. This is a paw paw. Okay. Plant. Okay. Uh, there's a an old song called the paw paw <laughs> patch that you might be thinking of. It tastes like a, pe a Daddy, cross between a pear the, and a banana. The thing back. <coughs> if you if you if you're filming Doug and listening like a student, but if you want to do Fortnite videos, we can do those tonight. Okay. Come 
let's hear what you have to say. Yeah, and just uh, go slow. Make make yeah. heavy steps, and the snakes will hear you coming. Yep. And make heavy steps. That's that's a courtesy to them. They appreciate it. They say thank you. Yeah, get out of the way. We're coming too. Thank you. <laughs> Oh wow, those are really pretty flowers. Oh daddy, a thorn. Oh yeah, that's a sand spur. So there are sand spurs out here. I don't see them in town. We don't have them in our yard. Thank well, God. I do. <laughs> Woo! But sand spurs, you can eat those too, but they're tricky. Now the reason they have spurs on them is because they grew the spurs to keep herb herbivores from eating them. So they kind of evolved with the spurs to protect themselves, ah. to protect the seed. Well, that's more escalation. <laughs> yes, because the seed is inside of the spur. Ah. So the way to eat the seed is you sitting around a campfire, you touch the flames with the uh, sand spur, and if you hold it there, it'll flame up because of the oils in the seed. Ah. So you, you touch it and back away until you've roasted the edges of the spurs, and now you can eat the seed once you You've uh, burned off the the spurs. You can eat the seed itself. Yeah, you that's can great. Eat the whole thing. That's great. Um, I'll have to tell you about my uh, engineering solution to the prickly pear. This was during Susan's first pregnancy. You taught me about the duct tape, <laughs> and I wrote about it. And wow! Told people about it. Yeah. Wow! Wow! I mean, yeah, wow. I used a, a method that you taught me. <laughs> yep. Engineering and, and and nature knowledge. We're all sharing knowledge here. This is this is a. Uh, Florida Wildlife University today and the scholarships are handed out with uh, everyone coming. All right. I'm looking for blueberries, uh, but it's the wrong time of the year. They'll be later on in late summer. Let's see if we can double up. We got uh, half our squad up there. Autobots, hold up. So I'm trying to keep samples of all the uh, ones I want to remember. When you point out the negatives, I understand the philosophy is really focus on the ones you can. Because yeah. then you can pollute your mind with 50-50 uh, chance of not remembering. Right. Exactly. exactly. I won't tell you too much about the poisonous ones. Yep. I don't want you to remember those as much as I want you to just focus on yep. the edible. Yep. That's the best way to learn. Yep. Like those uh, saw palmetto berries, when they when they ripen in the fall, they're very, they're very useful, and they have a lot of rich oils in them. That you could, you could even feed a baby with have... those berries. Yeah. But the animals eat the berries too, so you don't Daddy. want to, you don't Daddy. Want to use the berries. Why do you it's have that thing around your neck? Oh, this is an ice pack. This uh, has a special liquid. It's uh, a U.S.-made product. NASCAR uses it. It's called black ice cooling. Black ice cooling is uh, a patented formula that will freeze at 57 degrees Fahrenheit, which Daddy, is about 25 degrees warmer than have, 32. Daddy, can I have this now? So it makes it a much more comfortable ice pack. Also, the ice pack will refreeze in 45 minutes sitting in a freezer. You put it in ice water, it'll refreeze in 20 minutes. You're out on a fishing boat and you need perpetual cooling on your neck. Have a cooler of ice water. With two of these packs, when you purchase it, you get an extra pack to recharge while you're wearing one, and you've got perpetual cooling all weekend. Does that answer your question? <laughs> all right, those are good questions. Here you go, camera holder. Now just keep it on nature. No. If I hear Fortnite, you're gonna lose V-Bucks. I'm gonna spend them, I'm gonna buy you the you least coolest stuff here. with your V-Bucks. Daddy can't do that. Daddy. Okay, back to Fortnite. Is it real that the default skin on the like a little movie fake? He ate the banana and he had that banana skin. Is it for real that he ate the banana and he used it as a milkshake? The chicken. If it's time to wake up, when it's time.
time to wake right, up. Right, right. Okay. Crew, well, it's just the weird. Well, happy Saturday. Pack the fortnight. You're funny. Let's listen to what Doug has to say. This is uh. Right, we'll take turns. Yeah. Think up some more Fortnite stuff. Give us a Fortnite update. Yeah. In about in about uh, yeah. 200 yards. Yeah. If you can count, that's about 600 feet. If you can count out 100, but well, you're about smaller. If you can count out about 200 paces, then you can use the camera. This is again. a not edible plant. That's all I'm going to tell you yep. about it. Not edible. Yep. Yep. Don't need to. Don't eat nothing don't on it. Go near it. Touch it. Yeah, you can touch it. It won't hurt you. Probably smells good, yeah. That's that's the problem. It's uh, it's the beauty is deadly. Sometimes it is. Yeah. Okay, just, you're breaking it open, so let's not play with the, the bird. This is where your saw palmetto berries will be growing. Why? Why? Why Nathan. can I? Not and the saw palmetto berries are actually being used for prostate health, for shrinking prostate. It's the number one ingredient now in most of your prostate health. This is Daddy. sumac over here. So. You just grab all these. No, uh, the ber no berries haven't even formed yet. Oh, okay, okay. Daddy, berries will become the... big, huge olives. They look Daddy, like. Daddy, can I have the knife? Nope. They look oh. like olives when the berries grow. This is sumac. Yeah. Okay. There's okay. two di different kinds of sumac. There's poison sumac, and then there's winged or staghorn sumac. The different varieties of the edible. These seeds can. Be, you don't want to eat these, but if you grind them into a, a spice, you can use them as a spice, or you can make a beverage out of these. By soaking them in water, you get a bunch of them when they're in the best in season. And when they're dry, if you've had a few days of dry dry weather, you soak them in water until for like an hour, and then you strain it off with a filter, and you've got a beverage that you could call sumac aid, like a first aid, like a, I mean like a Kool Aid. Oh wow! But a, you could call it a sumac aid, and it has a nice, refreshing, tart kind of flavor. To Any it. electrolytes like Gatorade or anything? No, no. I don't know. Uh, that reminds me, what's that red peppercorn that, that's invasive? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's, an, it's also not the real peppercorn. Peppercorn is from Madagascar. The stuff we have is Brazilian pepper. It's very invasive, and people say that it's being used as peppercorn, but no, it's very poisonous. They're making a mistake. They're mistaking Brazilian pepper for peppercorn from Madagascar. Is it edible? No, no, there's a peppercorn. Oh, wow, people are going out there picking the stuff thinking it's peppercorn, I mean. And it's not, it's, wow. it's actually quite toxic. Oh, no. Yeah, there's, there's no use for it. Uh, and it's very invasive anyway, so we need to get rid of it. Competing with the mangroves. Yeah, people have tried to tell me, oh, that's peppercorn, and I'm like, no, I'm sorry. It's not, I've done the research. It's, it's being mistaken for Madagascar peppercorn. They look very much alike. But it, it's not. It's a South American Brazilian pepper. Brazilian pepper. And it's very toxic. Very useless. Useless. We're reaching about the halfway mark, if I recall correctly. Yeah. We're turning this way. Autobots left. Just soak in how nice it is out here. Now we're away from the road and there's just uh, yeah, a blanket of silence. Where are you going to find fresh water out here? Well, if there's the no problem. topography, how do you even know where to look? You look for the cypress swamps. Like I can see, uh, you look for cypress when there's a bunch of it. There's a pine over here. They got mostly pine over here. I mean, I could see cypress knees, and I'd know I'd see a cypress tree. But yeah, how do you spot the them from a the distance? Cypress swamp is the lowest. Part. Oh, it's like a fir. Yeah, it's, it looks very much like a fir. There's some cypress in there, I think. The two, the, the th like five or six skinny ones behind yeah, this. Yeah, way back there. In the background, behind yeah, this middle background. one, behind the middle one here. You look for a cypress so. swamp, and that's be your lowest area, and that's where you might find some standing water. This but first one's be, a. It has uh, to be filtered and. and uh, this is a pine right here, but if you go behind, yeah. if you go back here and look at these skinny you ones. Go into the lower areas. You'll those find skinny ones have very, very small fern like branches. Yeah, well, like, uh, like a cross between a fern and an evergreen. And it's certainly no, like a pine needle. Like, it's not the pine needles. You gotta find, like, the fern type branches. Cool. Whoa, look at this. 
That's even bigger. Let me, get, let me get a better life from over here. And if you want me to hit, give your phone, it's I'll. Too old now to be of any use. Although, if I was to pull these leaves off with, a, with gloves and with pliers, take a knife and cut all the skin, all the all the thorns, cut everything off until I got down to the actual midrib, the very center of it, then I can eat it then in this emergency phantom situation. There are parts of this you can eat. So the core kind of like a palmetto? Uh, no, like celery. Celery. But the, yeah, but the, the area where similar. it's located, where it's located the is flavor, similar? It's in the core of, yeah, it, the of core. Each, each leaf. Yeah. Each leaf has a, a midrib. Oh, and these are the tender ones. Yeah, the ones on the bottom are the bigger ones. Okay, the bigger ones. Now, the stalk itself yeah. can also be peeled and chopped. Okay. But this is too old. It's probably too woody. Yeah. When they get yeah. too big like this, they're too woody now. Can you point out a palm part? Don't yeah. watch dinosaurs. That's rabbit. In a survival situation, you can he's got to count to 200 steps, and then he can have his turn. In a survival situation, he can pull the center of the palm. Oh. Uh, I don't want to hurt my hands. Uh, yeah, I meant to bring some gloves, actually. Now, this very edge of it is edible. You can chew that much, the tender part. That's the heart of the palm. You can chew that. It has a kind of cucumbery. Is it bittery at all? Mm -mm. No, it won't be. Wow. Bitter, no. Okay, I mean, I've had I've had the hearts before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's you could call that. I want to go on your shoulder. Do you want to find the biggest palm and look for the biggest heart? Daddy, no, because, uh, the, daddy, the are, daddy, the daddy. Pull up. The young Michael? ones like that, I can daddy. pull those up pretty easily. Okay, it looks like a relatively quiet section coming up. Daddy. Michael counted 200 steps. Good job, Michael. You're up. That was 200 steps, bro. Daddy. You're up. I appreciate you. I appreciate Daddy. you. And you can flip it. Here, let me flip the... I know you like it flipped. There you go. Daddy. Yeah? I want to go so we're going to be taking... Oh, it's not going to be taking... Can I ride on your shoulder? No. Cut this off at the base down here. Even, uh, my daddy always zooms in. Just with a little collar, I'd cut it off at the very base. And then and then it'd take a lot of work and gloves. But you would peel all the outer stuff off until you get to the core. And that would be the heart of the palm. And that can be eaten raw or cooked. But these are very old plants. They take forever to grow. So you don't want to... And, but there are millions of them too. Mm -hmm. So we're going to need to take and the berries are uh, up in the something. fall and there's very, other, very little other food for the animals. So they almost depend completely on the top of them. Palm, salt, salt palmetto berries. That will be like 21. Marathon Station Water Refill. What is this? What's on the 221? Back to my lap. Four, two, five, two, six, There's an important one. 8, 20. And there's all kinds of vines that grow all, the, all over the place. Here's a bigger one over here. The way I identify this, the best way to identify this is it's just a vine with thorns. It's got thorns along the vine. That's why it's a briar. Cat briar, green briar, bull briar, briar. And this part is tender at the end. You bend it until it breaks and you can now eat this part raw or cooked and it's very tasty. It, you put it in, cook it and it tastes like asparagus. But it has its own flavor too. I wouldn't say really tastes it that much like asparagus because it has its own unique, own unique flavor. But it's called Smilax or green briar. And uh, the way I, to identify it is you look for one leaf, two tendrils, and one leaf, two tendrils, all the way down the vine. One small leaf, two tendrils, and turns into a bigger one leaf, two tendrils. You pull up a bigger, a bigger vine. Each vine will have one leaf, two tendrils on it. Sometimes the tendrils fall off as they get bigger, but it'll be one leaf, one leaf, one leaf, and two tendrils. And this you can eat just like it is. But I don't have my teeth, so I'm not going to try and eat it.
not bad. I'll tell you about Spanish needles some other time. Oh, it's Nidoscola stimulosis. Don't touch that, it'll sting you like a bee. Some people call it a uh, stinging nettle, but it's not. It's different from a stinging nettle. This is Snidoscola stimulosis. The root is actually the edible part, a tuber that grows underneath the ground off of the roof, stringy root that comes up. And that whole plant will sting you if you touch it. Uh, not the flower, though. The flower won't sting you, but the leaves and, the, and the, it's even got little hairs on it, little prickles on it. But they call it, the Indians called it tread softly because whenever they were growing in season they would be careful walking around on bare feet because they would get stung. I was, I got stung just wearing socks and stepped on one of those and got stung. But the root, the tuber is very starchy like a potato and it tastes like a cross between a carrot and a potato. So if you need food and you need something starchy like a potato dig up the tuber. Sometimes they're very small chunks. Sometimes they're about the size of a big carrot. So there's actually all kinds of... I'll tell you about this some other time. It's called fireweed. It's used in Cajun cooking and other types of uh, Seminole cooking. But you gotta... it doesn't taste very good unless you know a certain way to cook it with certain spices or something. Something to make it taste good because it's it just tastes horrible <laughs> by itself. <laughs> now, to head back, we'll be taking a we're right here to head back. If, if you guys want to head back, hoo, hoo. this is the Florida Trail. If we go that direction, we're going off into the Here's more fireweed. This is what it looks like when it starts to flower. It's a for famine food source. Famine food source. The leaves, flower buds. It's edible, but it tastes terrible and it smells terrible. So you need to, if you're going to use it, you want to blend it in with other greens. Oh, look at that stimulosis. That's the tread soft leaf also called spurge nettle, just like the one I was showing you. There's a pretty good sized tuber down there, but you can't always tell by the size of the plant whether, whether the tuber will be any, you know, a good size one. Sometimes the tuber can be just the size of your pinky, and other times it can be like the size of a large carrot. But that will sting you if you touch it. <laughs> it'll sting for about an hour and then it'll, it'll subside. Unlike uh, the real stinging nettles will, will really burn you if you touch those. But this one will sting for about an hour. There's a lot of stinging plants around, so we better stay on the trail. All right. We're heading back home. To, we're heading back to the car now. <coughs> Right, this time we're going back the other way. Nice. I like that. A reverse. Yeah, this one has a bit more shade. Yeah. And to me it's just a more pleasant hike because you're right there along with Boy, I'm glad I stopped at that uh, I knew it was just, just far enough where you were just going to see me around the corner, but I didn't even see these side trails. So I'm glad uh, you stayed within sight. Where does that trail keep going? Uh, pretty much out to Orlando, huh? Can I go back? What's that? Back. Is that trail, where does that trail continue? To 54. Yeah. Highway 54. East. 54 East. Yep. Yeah. Probably out near the water. Yeah. Right out in that direction. Here. Where is that? And there's trailheads over there too, just past where uh, 
some of the Nancy in-laws live, I think. There's uh, rec our recreational ATVs lodged through here on this trail? <laughs> no, not, not on this trail. On those, yeah. Oh, yeah. On this, this one is specifically just for hiking. Yeah. So those other ones are for horses. Um, although the ATVs, I don't know, because they're not allowed to have any motorized vehicles unless you're with the rangers or if you're a hunter during the hunting season with permits. So just coming out here with any kind of no motorized vehicles, except in certain situations. Yeah. Uh, do you carry a, do you walk, do you use a walking stick? Yeah, but I didn't this time because it was just going to be a short walk. And what I do is I'll look for something about seven foot high, higher, taller than me. Yeah. And I'll cut it off like an, a young pine or a straight, um, straight piece of oak or something. You just uh, hammer your your blade. Just the uh, and stuff you like went that. past and it. The and I yeah, I use my knife and hammer. Mm -hmm. No, I start by cutting into it. Just carving it. Um, yeah, like a car, like almost like carving it, not chopping at it. By carving it all the way around. What about taking it and then Because it's only going to be wood. only going to be about a little more than an inch or an inch and a half thick. I don't get a big thick one. I want it just strong enough and sturdy enough that if a pig, wild pig or something, yeah. comes at me, I can poke at it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah. We got a demonstration. Uh, this, I'm just showing you this as, a, as an example of how to cut without chopping. Now this is an old one. Yeah. But if it was, it was, it was, it was, I'd work all the way around, all the way around until I, could, and this is too, this is bigger than I would use. I would use less than half that size. Yeah. But yeah. instead of chopping at it, you just want to cut, cut all the way around and then break it. What about holding your blade and then hammering yeah. the blade? That's another thing. You, if you find another. Back, Michael, Michael, Michael. Yeah. Michael, demonstration time. Yeah, you go like this. Yep. <laughs> you want to use the bare grills? You want to use this yeah. knife? Oh, that doesn't. Wow, that's it. even that, that short of a blade will do it. Oh yeah, it's a wow. good strong blade too. This is carbon steel. This is not stainless steel. Yeah. Stainless steel chips and breaks. Yeah. Carbon steel will not chip or break, but you have to keep it oiled because it will rust. Okay. Okay. And it has a sharper edge than I can get on stainless steel. So you said it's carbon steel. Carbon steel. Yes, that's the one you want for. Real hunting and survival is carbon Interest. steel. Interesting. Cool. Ready shoulders? Yep. You got five hundred uh, uh, yards, maybe? Yeah, not, not even that. I'm, uh, 200 yards, I'd say. <laughs> called a deer tongue and I found out the name was elephant's foot. It's not edible but if you oh. have if you have to go to the bathroom elephant foot. if you have to go to the bathroom out in the woods it's nice and soft and velvety. <laughs> Are there any velveties out there that could do a different reaction? Not like not velvety, no. Okay. There of course there's poison so ivy. There's like stiff spines on leaves. I and like right, right. Paper. So if you want to look this for a like a good toilet paper out, out in the woods, microfiber. that's the one you want. They call it elephant's foot. I called it deer tongue. I call it micro. It'll have a stalk coming up too, a and a kind of real square, uh, triangular shaped, uh, triangular shaped flowers with little tiny purple flowers on them. But they haven't started flowering yet. They will in a month or two. Now watch out for this smilax vine. One of them got me. Okay, there it is. They call it green briar, cat briar, bull briar. I think cats are most appropriate how they try to chip you in. Yeah. yeah. See. The scientific name is my leg. I'm chewing on one of the shoots right now. The ends of the shoots are edible. Yeah. The hair and the dog that bit you. Exactly. Revenge. <laughs> How's the 
microphone on camera is your hand covering the microphone area, Susan. Look for like a bunch of dots or circles somewhere on it. You might want to hold it in the hand. I don't know. Sorry. Just want to make sure it's able to hear a conversation. Up north, they have ferns that have fiddleheads. So you can eat, but these ferns down here, you don't want to even try to eat the fiddleheads. They're too toxic here. The best bet is to go up north if you want to eat fiddleheads. But now they're discovering that fiddleheads are carcinogenic, so people are eating them much less than they used to. They just have to press. Yeah, same as that. Well, the, the, there's a debate about sassafras, and if you were to give a uh, laboratory rat uh, nothing but a certain substance over a period of time, of course you're going to have adverse effects. If you fed them nothing but sassafras, sass 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 you're going to end up with that This is wild grape. This is a wild grape. You need to make some wine? This is free wine. But the problem with our wild grape is that 95% of all the wild lines are males. And it's hard to find the females. What, did they have like a one-child policy or something? <laughs> yeah, they're like China here. But they're all males, so trying to find the one with berries is very hard to do. But uh, they, as a family, this, I think this is a... This is a I don't native, know about you, but I'm probably going to keep hiking. Yeah, got one tendril on the end. It's can these leaves, are these leaves edible? The, uh, you can always yeah. restock on aisle yep. five. <laughs> yeah. Keep the mosquitoes away. The heat right now really suppresses them, but as you near, near evening, I imagine that's when you really are going to get hit with the mosquitoes. Yeah, as the sun starts to go down. And then it's just continual until the sun comes you, back. When you do find the wild, uh, oh wow, more blackberries. When you do find the, uh, the wild grapes, they taste very good. You just gotta spit out the seeds. They're just little black grapes. Probably find some grapes and that stuff. There's a lot of grape vines here. There's just so much food out here that people don't know about. Looking both ways, so proud of them. We learned that in Walmart, Walmart University. He has a bachelor's in looking both ways now. He's currently working on it. He is a candidate. Stop. I got it. He is a candidate. Yeah, thank you. He's a candidate too. I like okay. both ways. On the path. Yeah. Oh, you did to too, the, Silas. Back to the vehicle. Okay. Good job, Silas. I like both ways on these, so no lions. I'm gonna pass you over right. Do you know I don't like this place? Is this the wild grape? Yeah, that's all wild grape. There's only one kind that grows wild in, in the southeast because of a disease, disease that affected this country about 100 years ago called Pierce's disease that was killing off all species of grapes except for one specific kind. Lions. So we have lions and velociraptors in the woods. Let's ask Doug. Stop here. Stop yeah, here. we go down uh, a little ways and then we... Michael, wants, Michael wants to convince that we have lions. And he wants nope. to convince that we have pigs that have teeth as big as velociraptor claws. I like both ways again. Mm, I don't know about the pigs. <laughs> we have some wild boar, but their teeth don't get that big that I know of. But their bite... I mean, they're tough. Their bite's going to ruin anybody's blood. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to run into a mad pig. Do you stand your ground? Do you climb a tree? Are there trees to climb? Yeah, but you got to hope that you're near one <laughs> or have a 
a walking stick, like, you know, sturdy and, and a big knife or a gun or something How like that. How does a bobcat take down a baby pig and not be uh, threatened? Because me and Susan saw a bobcat down a road like this off a mosquito lagoon near north of the space center there. And uh, we were just coming in with our canoe and putting it on top of the car. Saw the sunset coming, looking down this road, the bobcat turned right into the bushes in about 20, 30 seconds we heard all the pigs squealing. Right. But how can we, I they guess they get the flight response to just run. I don't know how the cat knows where to bite them to get the jugular vein. They're going for the young, I'm sure. And they're going for the young. So yeah. well, why will the pigs run from that, but then charge hey, a 250 pound let's male? let's stop here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The That's trail. a good question. <laughs> No, that's not the trail, but it just go I've tried it before. It just goes in a few feet and then stops. <laughs> I checked it out before. It's a false trail. I thought it might be too. Our next trail Good spot, Michael. Good spot. And I don't think a bobcat bite could be fatal unless they got you in the net. On your limbs, you can bobcat bite. Gonna bring you oh, they don't get very big. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like the, the boar, that bite could, could stop you in your tracks. A, a cat will naturally go for the neck, and if you're down and laying on the ground struggling with it, oh, like, wow. yeah, you're on its ter territory. It's amazing how they, they don't weigh much, but their power is 10 times out. It's amazing. What do you do when you encounter a snake with the white earth? And just, it doesn't you know, on the snake on the trail, you just any snake I give them a, a white bird, yeah. whether it's poisonous or not. Right. Is, uh, they're a necessary part of uh, the ecology. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, like the bulls in the Yellowstone. We were sideways. It's a different story. Oh. Is it about the bulls in the Yellowstone? Yeah, but I disagree with what they did. But it brought back all the aspen trees because the grazers took meat with the young ones and they got their leaves out in the open. Now you're going to have too many wolves. It's the same old story. They, uh, it, it's hard to find the right balance. It's funny how wolves are never in the circus. <laughs> True. Well, they never do the it. They do lions, they do... And yet the very first canine to be domesticated was the wolf. So what, what's up with that? I know. That's how they... Uh, uh, in Alaska, they turn the wolves into domesticated animals by turning them into a... Uh, I mean, this could suggest that the wolves are consciously choosing to hate man. Oh, any animal can be domesticated when they realize they, they can get free food without fighting for it. But they don't ever have wolves in the circus, though. Well, yeah. it's, it's dangerous. And people are more... The circus is a, is a, a fantasy, you know, a, a tiger is more dangerous entertainment. than a wolf. Circus is for entertainment. So they use tigers to scare people. I guess they're scarier than wolves. I mean, wolves. a wolf in a circus tent, that would be creepy. I try not to think about it. <laughs> about the whole circus and... Yes. Yeah. And caging Just animals. Like I, don't, I don't agree with I don't. caging animals. Of any kind. Keep walking, Mikey Craft. Yeah, we really, you know, we really, uh, uh, it's, it's a complicated because we have educational outreach, but uh, at what point is it healthy or not healthy, I don't know. We got another one. This, they can get very big, these Smilax. What I do is I bend it until it breaks. I could go start back here and start bending, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to hurt it. But I could bend it, and when you bend it, when it breaks, it means it's tender enough that you can pull it off, cook it for like five minutes, boil it for about five minutes with butter and salt. Tastes real good. That's your most uh, delicious Ew. natural vegetable. It kind of looks like an asparagus. A wild mm -hmm. vegetable. Mew. Yeah. Come on, man. It's a little like an asparagus. Sounds like it. Yeah. Oh, double up. All right, can, uh, uh, Yeah. Uh, start. Colonel Silas here is uh, advising <laughs> a double up on that, but you all just maintain we're going to scout ahead. Okay. Point, wherever you want to go, Silas, the point. 
turn my head wherever you want to go. Our seat Grab me like a car. Hey, how are you doing? Are you a noob or are you a pro? Yeah. Are you a Okay. Oh, you're dodging the leaves? Wow, you are a pro. But wait, we see a fork. So let's wait. Even though I see the car. Right. They grow on different kinds of lichen. Another name for it is a lichen. There's all kinds of lichen. Some are edible. As a matter of fact, a lot of them are edible. But you want to get the kind that grows big and thick, not the kind that are so thin it's microscopic. But it's a lichen, a fungus. Question about bread crumbing. I have a question about breadcrumbs when you're out traveling. What's that paper tape that you mentioned that's biodegradable and you can tie? Oh, I just happened to find it somewhere. I don't even remember. Is there a term for it besides breadcrumbing? I don't know what oh, to search for. Uh, paper tape? The act of the trail yeah, level, what's that product? Blazing. Blazing. So what's Blazing the product trail. called? What's the roll of tape called? Blaze tape? No. Uh, Paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't buy it. I saved it. Yeah, I saved it. Yeah, it was just something I found in some garbage. It looked like a tape made out of paper. Yeah, I could use it for marking the trade. I think it's great. Completely my improvisation. Well, uh, yeah, you can kickstart that on Kickstarter and make some bucks because it's, I don't know what kind it's of tape biodegrades. I don't know what kind so of So you have a biodegradable tape, tape. Oh, wow. and it's a service for someone else in the woods. If they're lost, it does no harm that there are. Uh, I, uh, anyway, cool talk. It's a cross between the elephant ear and a curly dog. But I don't think it's curly dog. I think it's just another elephant ear, and it's too velvety. Anyways, for the paper. It looks like it could have been something edible, but it isn't. Mhm. Mm oh, here's a, uh, a snake. Hey, oh, Silas, oh. come here. This one ain't poisonous. Though. Come here, Silas. Oh, you sure you you want him to see that? Yeah. <laughs> um, I forgot the name of it. Even though I've got it in my book. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a small snake. Um, a rat snake. I think it's called a rat snake. They're not, not venomous. And you can eat any snake if you had to. You pull the skin off like a, like a sock. Take off the head. And they eat a lot of little tiny vermin. They'll eat rats and mice, bugs, grubs, pretty much anything they can get their hands on. It's a rat snake. Rat. Rat snake. Can you catch him? No. You don't want to. You don't want to mess with him. He's just minding his own business. Besides, they're afraid, they're afraid of us. If I tried to catch them, I would just scare them. I don't want to scare them. Because if I scared them, he might head for the road, and I don't want him to head for the road. I'd rather just, he just stay out here in the woods. They're, they're not venomous. They won't hurt you. Hey, snake! I want you to get eaten by a rat. Bite you. you might break the skin, it might hurt a little bit, but it, it won't be 
What was that snake called? What was that snake called? A rat snake. Rat snake. Stay low. Don't come to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no. I'm, I'm spotting everything these days when I go out to the woods. I'm finding all the edibles and the poisonous plants. Hey, snake! I'm going to get not eat 